Hey Google, turn on the TV. Turning on the TV. You'll need a static IP on your television to forward the port to. So you just go into network settings and then scroll all the way down to IP settings. And then down to static and then into your IP address that you want to use which is generally 192.168.0. whatever and then your gateways your um, usually your routers address and then the network prefix length is 24 because it's an IP4 address and then your DNS DNS2 done You'll need to remove authentication control from the IP settings. So go down to settings and then down to network. And in, in network you should see home network setup. Then IP control and you'll see authentication. And in here, we've only got normal and normal pre-shared key available to select. So what we need to do is we need to go into a special setting for the TV to be able to change this. Um, to get to that setting, you'll need to push, I don't know what that is, input or something, screen. So screen, mute, volume up, then home. So I'll do that now. Just done that and now it's shutting down. It's going to restart itself if you've done the buttons quick enough. Okay, it's finally turned on again, so I'm going to go home now. Okay, it's finally finished loading up, up the top you'll see pro settings in process. Okay, so now we just want to go into the settings again exactly where we went before. Home network setup. IP control authentication now you have none available for selection so you need to select none now that you've got none selected you can go back home and then to get out of pro settings you will need to do the exact same thing on the remote so you'll need to push info or screen switch mute volume up and home so I'm going to do that now And now it's going to think about what it's going to do. And that will take a while. It's powering down and it will just restart itself. Booting up again, this is going to take forever. Okay, it's finally finished starting up again. So if you go back into your settings, you don't need to do this. I'm just showing you. In the settings, you've still only got that normal visible in the home network setup. Authentication shows as normal. It is actually none. So if you go into here, don't actually select one of these. Just back out of it. And that's it. It's all set up to receive commands without authentication. Hey Google, turn the TV off. Okay, turning off the TV. Just above the home network setup in the network settings, you'll see remote start. You need to make sure that that is turned on. Once you've changed your TV settings and set a static IP on your television, you'll need to go into your router and forward a port to the 192.168.0. 
television's IP address and um, that's the port that you're going to use when you're uh, setting up Google to turn the television on and off. You'll need to create an applet to turn the TV on. So go into My Applets and select a new applet. Click on this and search for Google Home or Google Assistant and select that then select say a simple phrase and what do you want to say would we usually turn on the TV and what do you want assistant to say in response turning TV on create the trigger okay and then now you need to set up the action so click on that and then Search for webhooks, select webhooks, make a web request and for the URL you're going to want to put in the URL of um, the TV which you set up. So that's going to be your external IP and the port number that you forwarded to your television IP. And once you put in the URL, you need to set the method to put. Actually, no, you want to set it to post. And content type is application JSON. And the body is going to be the command that it's sending through. In JSON format so we've got um, the method of power set power status the version has to be included and an ID has to be included so we really just need to pay attention to method and um, parameters which is we're setting the status to true so we're going to create that action and then I don't need notification so I'm going to turn that off and finish and it's done. Once you've finished setting up your applet in if this then that if um, once that's set up everything's good to go. So you've changed the settings in your TV, you've changed the IP address of your television to a static IP, um, you will have forwarded a port in your router to your television's IP address. Then you would have set up your if this then that recipe. And um, that's it. Now you should be able to control your television with Google Home.